Welcome to the coding interview problem. Best time to buy and sell stock to. Say you have an array price set for which the ith element is the price of a given stock on day i. Here i is the index number. Now design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You may complete as many transactions as you like. That means you can buy one and sell one share of the stock multiple times. Note that you may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time. It means you must sell the stock before you buy again. And this is our problem statement. If we are given this array, we have to return the maximum profit. If we buy at 1 and sell at 5, then we have profit 4. If we buy at 3 and sell at 6, then we will have profit 3. And 4 plus 3 equals to 7. For this given array, we might have maximum profit 7. Okay, so we have to return 7 for this given input. If you are given this array as input, you have to find the maximum profit you can make okay we can make as many transactions as you like if we sell at one if we buy at two then we have profit one if we buy at two if we sell at three we have profit one again if we buy at three sell at four we have profit one if we buy at 4, if we sell at 5, we have profit 1. So, if we add all the profit, then we get 4. So, for this given input, we have to return 4. This is pretty straightforward problem. Let's see how we can solve it. Let's suppose that we are given this array. First, we are going to initialize max profit equals to 0. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to iterate through this array from this element to the end. So our current element is 1. Now what we are going to do, we are going to check the current element and the previous element. If we see the current element is greater than the previous element, then we will buy at the previous element and we will sell at the current element. Okay, so here we see 1 is less than 7. So we can't sell at 1 and buy at 7 then our next element 5 and the previous element 1 we see that the previous price is less than our current price so we'll buy at this price 1 and we will sell at this price 5 the profit we will have 4 so we'll add that profit to max profit so 0 plus 4 equals to 4 then our current element is 3 and our previous element is 5 and we see current element is less than previous element so we will not sell at the current element and will not buy at the previous element then our next element is 6 and we see that this element is greater than the previous element so we will sell at this element and we will buy at the previous element that means we will sell at the current price and we will buy at the previous price so we will have our profit 6 minus 3 equals to 3 so 4 plus 3 equals to 7. Then our next element 4 and we see that 4 is less than the previous element. So we are done. At the end we will return max profit. And max profit equals to 7. And for this input we will return 7. And this is how we can solve this problem. This is pretty straightforward. Now let's see through the code. First I am going to return a function that takes an array as input. Let's suppose that we are given this array, then we are going to declare a variable max profit equals to 0. Then we are going to iterate through the given array from the second element to the end. Okay. Then we are going to check the previous element and the current element. If we see the previous element is less than the current element, then what we will do? We will calculate our max profit. And here we see we have 1 and previous 7. So this if condition false then we have 5 and here we will have a profit 
and that is 5 minus 1 is 4 then we have 3 and 5 and this if condition false then 3 and 6 here we have profit of 3 then we have 6 and 4 and this if condition false so we're done with this for loop at the end we'll return max profit max profit equals to 4 plus 3 equals to 7 okay so at the end so at the end we'll return 7 and this is my solution to this problem this solution will take big of n time complexity and constant space complexity where n is the length of the given array all right guys hope this concept was clear if you want more video like this please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next video